Okay, uh, hello folks. Uh, welcome to my video. What we have here is the iPhone 3G that's doing the recording. And um, now with the iPhone 3G and the software download, or some refer to as a for firmware upgrade, uh, we now have video capability with the uh, very famous iPhone 3G. Um, and of course, debatable whether or not the iPhone 3GS is worth going out and getting uh, at this time. But anyway, the rig here, what we have is an ICOM 7600. It is a amateur radio HF transceiver. Uh, it is the predecessor of the great ICOM 7700. And uh, the ICOM 7600 is an unbelievable radio. Uh, it's a very highly sophisticated uh, piece of equipment, very high tech. Um, thought uh, by many uh, electronic engineers uh, I've spoken with, uh, uh, whether working for Collins or uh, our Air Force military or um, just electronic engineers in general, uh, that uh, ICOM does put out some of the, uh, the nicest rigs out there. Um, anyway, I thought that uh, some would like to uh, take a, a little closer look at the ICOM 7600. Uh, we'll scroll here through 80 meters. That tends to sometimes have a high noise floor. Uh, signals should be fairly strong. We should hear some DX, some local stateside. And um, we'll play around with the filters a little bit, maybe the band scope screen, so on and so forth, and give you a little taste of the ICOM 7600. So here we go. even a little bit slick that you know there's no tread. In other words there's no protrusion of the tire outside of the, the body. If you can picture a donut, that's basically it with a, an occasional groove cut in it. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the motorcycles over here when I follow them down the road have got a, a tire which um, it comes out from the rim so there's sort of vertical, almost a vertical line and then there's a lift on the left hand, the right hand side of it and then the tire's rounded off and like a, uh, yeah, oh, I can't describe what it would be. <laughs> uh, when they crank it over the uh, on the side the, um, there's actually more tire on the road when they're on their side than when they're vertical on a straight line. Oh yeah. Uh, well, I don't know about more, but uh, uh, you, you know, you run a lot of air in them. First of all, not like a car tire. I think there's a uh, 45 psi, I think, in the rear and 32 in the front or something like that. I forget what it is, but uh, yeah, that's basically what it is. It's round. There's no. Uh, there's, if you look at it straight on from the back of it. There's no flat surface at all. The whole thing is round, like a donut, or like a, an inner tube. I don't know, maybe I'm not sure what a donut is, but anyway, uh, it, uh, like an inner tube, Dave, a tire inner tube, that's basically what it is. It's, uh, uh, you know, the configuration is round with an occasional groove cut into it. It's really peculiar. Oh, I've been in. Nothing any kind of real trend out. 
And I went online, checked a bunch of time manufacturers, checked something with uh, Firestone, Goodyear, uh, Goodrich, Dunlop, uh, I don't know, anything I could think of. And, uh, uh, you know, nothing really substantially different. So I don't know, but anyway, maybe somebody makes one. Now, the other bike I had years ago, the Ducati, he could all kinds of configuration for that. Maybe it was because the wheel or the, uh, the rim was a little bigger diameter, I don't know. But uh, it seems like 15 inch diameter, uh, you're pretty restricted. And, uh, and the tires that are available now, I don't understand it. Well, that's why I said I think you should be able to find something else because, you know, a lot of riders are out there in the uh, wet stuff. In other words, rain riding. And if that thing gets smooth tires on it, my God, it wouldn't be safe to ride in rain. Right, hey, it's not. It's okay if you're going straight, but it uh, kicked out a couple times on me going around a corner. It's not very fast. I mean, you know, it's just like at a, a traffic light or something. You know, you take a left or you take a right. And you can feel the back end, you know, just a little like a little, you know, a little kick. But uh, anyway, they must have got their elbows in lawsuits, I would think, but maybe not. Yeah, okay, well. Hmm. That well, was interesting anyway, okay. I'm uh, just sitting here going through the uh, stuff on the uh, QRZ or QTH.com, I guess it is there, looking to see what's on there. And uh, let's head one over today and... Uh, uh, Julie called me, and um, a friend of ours uh, called her. Her husband works at uh, a commercial restaurant. I won't name it, but uh, anyway, they're. Once camera, trabajando 247, Well, I don't want to make the video too long, but uh, you got to take a look at uh, a little bit of the changes in the screen and the band scope. Um, and uh, next video, we'll uh, work on a little of the digital modes and show you how that works. Uh, for now, till next time, we'll catch you next ICOM 7600 video.